Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV with another iPhone tip for you. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the eye tracking feature on the iPhone. And that's what you're looking at right here. I've got the iPhone 16 Pro and I'm moving my controls around with my eyes. I can open apps and access different features. Keep in mind, you do need iOS 18 or newer for this to work. And some older iPhones do not have this feature. All right, now how to set up eye tracking is pretty simple. We're gonna need to open our settings app first. So we'll do that. And you wanna scroll down to the accessibility section right here and open it up. We're then gonna scroll down to where you see eye tracking. And this is where all the eye tracking settings, features, and options are available to you. And we're gonna start with how to turn on eye tracking. And that's done up here. Now, before you actually switch this on, Set yourself up in a comfortable position so that you can actually control your eyes without moving your phone too much. You do need to be at least 30 centimeters away from your face for this. Tap the learn more for more information about it all, but I'll show you exactly how to set it up right now. So I'm in this position here. I'm gonna switch this on and you're gonna wanna follow this dot that appears on screen with your eyes. And it's gonna move around and you kind of follow it as it moves and while it's doing this it's using the camera to track your eyes and calibrate the system this takes about a minute you want to be as still as possible while you're doing this and don't move your phone around if you run into an error where it says position changed you may have to start this calibration process all over again i'll speed this up and we'll come back when it's done so now that it's all set up you can see i can move my eyes and it's kind of moving around on screen up and down it's got the snap to item feature on, which is making these little boxes over items that I'm getting close to. Um, I can hold on things, and this is called dwelling. When you hold on a certain option, it'll then focus on it, and it'll allow you to perform that action. So if I want to go back in the settings, I can. And while this is on, I can still use my fingers to access things. If I want to open an app, I kind of just hold over that app. It opens it up. You also notice this little circle. That's assistive touch and it's there as well. If you open that up, I can either use my eyes just by holding or I can tap on it. You can see all the features you get here with assistive touch as well. So if I wanna go home, if I'm in an app or anything like that, you can use assistive touch to do that as well. Notification center, Siri, all those options are there in assistive touch for you. Now, whenever you have a keyboard available to you, it's a little bit harder. This is gonna take some practice, especially if you're not using it often, but you kinda of wanna Hold your eyes over whatever letter you want, and it zooms in, you can see, to make it easier for you. But uh, those options can be set up in the settings as well. Now let's go over some of these settings if you do want to control different things. So the smoothing, you can lower or raise the smooth pointer movement smoothness. If you increase this value, though, it says it may decrease the pointer responsiveness. The snap to item. That's that little box that was appearing around the items as I was trying to get to them. If you turn it off, it gives you a more freehand feel. So it's very hard to stay on an item with it off. It kind of bounces off, but that's why I like to keep the snap on. Zoom on keyboards, you saw how that worked. Auto hide if you want it to auto hide. And then the dwell control, that's where you hold your eyes on a certain app or option and then a few seconds pass, it'll open it. If you turn this off, then you won't be able to access things with your eyes. You'll just be able to control movements and things like that. You won't be able to actually like open them. So I use that. You can also control more dwell options in assistive touch. Just tap down there and you have some more availability here. I'm not gonna get into those more advanced features, but that's how you use eye tracking with the iPhone and iOS 18. If you had any issues with it, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to help you out. I try to respond to every comment that comes my way. This is a little bit on the wonky side right now. I'm sure they're gonna improve this over time. It works great with the Apple Vision Pro, so I guess they just gotta tailor it a little bit more for these smaller devices. It works on the iPad as well, and I'm not sure if it works better, but you can give that a try. Also, if you found this video helpful or you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and click the bell notification box so you're notified when I post new videos. And also I have the full iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorial series. The link is in the description so you can learn how to use everything with the iPhone, the cameras, secret settings, tips, tricks, all the good stuff. Check it out. And as always, I will see you in the next one.